Ain't no joke. Oh my gosh. Where's the hood? Out not a place. Chicken dish. I knew I was gonna say that wrong. What kind of beef is this? <laughs> Okay, cylinder, cylinder tube commences. He got him packed today. What'd you have, did you, so you had to go somewhere to do something. Okay, you had to go to the hydraulic place to get the seals and then you went to Jimmy's to do it? Yeah, I tore them down and then went to get the seals. Okay, tore them down and then went and got the seals. And the place where he got him was three hundred dollars less than John Deere. <laughs> seventy-five dollars versus three seventy-five. So that was a that was a winner. So now we got to get him back on there. I'm just helping him get him. Yeah. Hmm. That one went uneasy. Ain't no joke those things are so heavy and it was hard to, it was hard to hold it up on that other end anyway mm. pick up on a little bit there. Mm. Okay, I'm excused. What? I'm excused. Excused. <laughs> For the moment. For the moment. All right, he's just got to put the lines back on, but the hard, the hard part, right, hopefully. Cotter keys. Cotter keys, okay. I can't get over how pretty it is, y'all. It's, it's much warmer than I realized. It's like 70 degrees. Not a cloud in the sky. Oh, wow. Is this something somebody gave us? Yep. Yep, no, I thought I, it was. No, I bought Oh, you them. had these? Oh. I know, we've gotten so much stuff. Hmm. These rags somebody gave us. Yep. These things work really good. They work really good. Thank y'all. Okay, I'm going to walk back to the house. Well, I'm going to walk back to the field and get my horse. Um... I don't have time to ride. I've only got like two hours. I don't, I just don't have enough time to do that. Uh, it's church night. It's youth night. So I got to cook supper early. I think Austin's riding a couple, but I'm going to get my horse up and clean them good. And then hopefully tomorrow and the next day and the next day and the next day, we're going to ride. I can't, oh my gosh. It's still, it's still soupy out here. It's still soupy. So hopefully, this warm weather and sunshine tomorrow will be that much drier. We'll feel a little more comfortable riding out there, right there in our pretend arena. <laughs> ah. When the time is right. We got, we got these little kill deer. That's why I think that's what they are, right? It's beautiful. Hello, Sinchi. Wow! Whoa, cowboy! <laughs> Whoa, son! Good gracious! Okay, good. I thought I was going to have to traipse all the way over there to get you, Rip. Let's go get you some food. 
oh, he's like, hmm, wait a minute, do I smell a rat? No, you don't smell a rat. It's going to be good. It's going to be fun times. You're going to get brushed, and you're going to get food, and you're going to get your feet cleaned. Tomorrow we ride. Oh, look at the flies already. Are you kidding me? It's already fly season, isn't it, baby? All right, I'm letting him eat. <laughs> He's getting food everywhere because he's the worst. He's the worst about eating. And I'm getting a bunch of hair off. And dirt. Um, I bought this. If you have horses, this is called Biomane. This is not a commercial. Honestly, I just bought this to try it. And I'm pretty impressed with it. It doesn't look like much at all. No, it doesn't, does it? No. Sloppy, sloppy eater. Um... But it actually, it actually does a really good job. Not only getting dirt, but getting the um, hair, the shedding, the shedding hair. I mean, and I like it better than my other one because my other one, you have to like constantly beat it to get the hair off, but it doesn't hold the hair. So, yeah, I might get, I might buy more of these. Facebook ad got me. You got me, y'all. It happens. We're off and I care to admit. Okay. Okay, Rip. You're making a mess. Okay. <laughs> she just switched from Hank to Little Doc. Oh, me. She rode both of them under saddle. Said they did good. And this handsome fella's all cleaned up. We'll ride tomorrow, buddy. I know you're excited. What? It's the only second time you rode him bareback? She said he feels very thin compared to Hank. He is very thin compared to Hank. <laughs> I mean, look at that, y'all. <laughs> Woohoo! I heard a mower running. The guys are getting the mowers ready. Oh, are we going to use this one? Good deal. Yeah. Hoodless and all. Where's the hood? And here we go. We have another beautiful, beautiful day. And this horse that I spent so much time cleaning yesterday. I'll show you the other side of him. He looks like he was not brushed at all. He did some major rolling. He found some mud somewhere. Anyway, we're all going to ride. We're all going to ride today. It's like 75. The flies are horrible. I got bit by some, I got bit by something. A biting fly, I guess. Oh, me. We got to mix up some fly spray. I'm telling you, we have fast forwarded. We have fast forwarded. Fast forwarded. Is that a word? Anyway, that's what we've done. Transitions still need a lot of work. Wesley Lawrence wanted Wesley to ride cinch. <laughs> See if there's any bucks in them. I'd rather let Wesley get any bucks out. <laughs> I'm going to slow down. He's just wanting to be a racehorse for some reason. Look at Lawrence and all the dogs. <laughs> Look, he's got all the dogs. <laughs> no. <laughs> we just jumped up a couple deer. Everybody got a good sweat worked up, and we're gonna take a little trail ride. I cannot get over how warm it is. I think it's closer to 80. And it's warm. over here to the creek. We're scouting out a place for our building. Pretty sure we want to put it down here. We have a um, water down here. We have the creek. It's pretty. We can we can bring it up over that hill, <laughs> we think, anyway. 
He's gonna put wheels under it. And um, yeah. Put it right here and put the porch facing that way. You can hear the water. Oh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this might be good. Yeah. And Rick said he found some good grass to eat. Yeah, the more we talk about this and think about this, this is going to be so fun. This is going to be so fun. We can close the horses in here. They'll have water. We won't have to keep them tied. Like if we come and spend the night, we'll have access to water. We'll just have to, uh, well, anyway, do what we got to do outside. <laughs> I don't even care. This is going to be fun. It's, this is one of our favorite spots. So this is, this is good. Yeah. I told Wesley that a bunch of people said that the building needed to be his. And he was like, what? You're okay with us all using it, right, Wesley? but it was here sometime He said he found some net weights, some Indian net weights here. So he thinks it was like actual river. You think it was an actual river? The damn river was here oh, sometime. Oh, okay. Mm. But that them rocks don't get washed like that yeah. in a creek. Yeah. Hmm. And so when the white man got here, the river was the way it's at now. Mm -hmm. A thousand years ago, before the Congress collided, the river run different. Mm. <laughs> okay. I don't know. I won't we hear. Up on top of the steepest hill we got. Yeah, and that's the bluff water. up there. Yeah, up there is the toughest, toppest. It's, it's very, it's very high. Congress collided with two steps done. Uh, I, I don't know either, honey. Hmm. Yeah. The net way to do catch fish on the net and the tide is Well there was a great flood. It's 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 documented. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> great flood and the continents collided. I don't know about yeah. continents colliding, but I know there was a great flood. Mm-hmm. It's for my time too. Mm -hmm. for my time too. <laughs> but I bet if you look real carefully now you'll find some uh here's a spear head. I know, I've never found anything like that. That would be cool. Maybe we can find some down here and we spend more time down here. What do you think, Clara? Okay, y'all. We're back in the kitchen. We're back in the kitchen. And tonight I am making I am making a chicken dish. Go figure. I got a freezer full of beef and I'm making a chicken dish. Chicken dish. I knew I was going to show that wrong. <laughs> um, but... So my, I was talking to my aunt Noni the other night, the one that I just, that just lost her husband, um, that I went to see in Florida and she was telling me what she made herself for supper. And she was saying that it was very good and that I should try it. And when she would started telling me about it, I was like, um, yeah, our family would love that. So I, and it sounded easy enough, although I probably already messed up a little bit, <laughs> Um, so basically it's just, it's called Kate's chicken. I'll put the recipe in the description. It was somebody that went to church with her. I think she said she's been passed away a while now, but she said she's, she thinks she just came up with it and, um, she used to serve it a lot. I think she would eat, they would maybe eat it at church functions or I might have that all wrong, but anyway, it's called Kate's chicken. So it's Noni's Kate's chicken because Noni's my aunt that gave the recipe to me. So anywho... And, um, she just had a couple chicken breasts. Well, I bought, hold on, what did I buy? I bought whatever was cheapest at Aldi. These were thin sliced, boneless, skinless chicken breasts, okay? And I have like a whole 1.81 pounds because, um, my children, especially my son, are starting to eat me out of house and home. I'm not lying. Wesley ate three burgers and a huge salad for lunch today. I made eight burgers last night just to have for the week for lunches and stuff. He said, can I have three? I was like, three? You want three? He said, yeah. I was like, sure. <laughs> so, um, we might go through this hamburger even faster than we have in the past. Anyway, 
So um, I'm, let me show you what I'm doing. So the recipe says to brown, to butter, no, okay. I, I melted a stick of butter. So you know it's gotta be good with a stick of butter. And then, I'm gonna flip them. I, I cut my little chicken up a little bit and they're supposed to brown it. I salted and salt, pepper, and flour. I haven't floured anything in a long time, y'all. It's gonna be good. And I almost needed a bigger pan, is what I was a little worried about. But I got them all in here, and I'm gonna make this work. We're making this work, okay? And then what we have over here is a can of cream of chicken and a, with one and a half cans of water. Now, I was just looking back at my notes, and my aunt put hers on the stove and warmed it to get it all mixed together. But I just used one of my little favorite whisk, y'all. I have three of these on the counter. I use them all day, every day. They're in my Amazon shop, if you're interested. If you don't have one, you need one. I'm just telling you, they make life amazing. So I just whisked it up, and um, once these are done browning, then I, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pour that over it. I'm just cooking it all in the same dish. That's so a little different than she. She put it in a separate dish. Uh, you know, me and my skillet, I mean, that's the beautiful thing about skillets. You can cook them cooking it and then immediately put it in the oven and it's good to go. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to see how it works. And then I've got rice cooked and I'm going to do some kale, our healthy dish of the night. Maybe that'll all set some of the butter and some of the flour and some of the frying. I don't think it will, but we're going to eat it anyway. Um, I'm going to saute that with some garlic and olive oil and it's going to be supper. I'll let you know how it is. And I'll, I'll ask the family. I won't just let it rest on my shoulders, okay? Okay, because I'm impatient and I didn't realize it has to cook for like 40 minutes. We're just going to say that's good enough. Good enough. Then we're just going to pour this over. Because it's going to cook in the oven for 40 minutes, y'all. So it's going to get done if it's not all the way done. Alright, that looks amazing. I don't know. I feel like I need to put something on it. I'm... I'm, when in doubt, put a little K-Frid. Okay? Alright. This is very heavy. This is my good wrist, though, not my bad wrist. So, maybe I can do this. Can I do this? Okay. I'm, I'm going to play it safe and use two hands. Yeah, we're going to do that. Because that sucker is heavy. Heavy Chevy. Alright, so we're going to let that sit there for 20 minutes. Then we're going to flip them. Then we're gonna do another 20, and then we're gonna hope they're done. Boop. All right, we're eating outside because it's so beautiful. What is it? It's chicken, oh, it's kale, it's kale. Um, it turned out, I think it turned out good. It is kale, promise you it is. The chicken on the rice. All right, I'm gonna let y'all know how it tastes in just a second. What'd you say? What kind of beef is this? What? <laughs> It's the yard bird kind. Mm, yard, How's it taste though? How's it taste? Bird. How's it taste? Tastes like a yard bird. <laughs> it's good. Isn't it good? Mm -hmm. Did you taste it yet? Mm -hmm. You haven't tasted it. Okay. It's good. It it's a winner. Winner chicken dinner. It's way too pretty not to take an after supper sunset walk. It looks like the sun's already set. I missed it. Shucks. Oh, well, <laughs> still got daylight. Um, Wesley's actually riding his bike, which I haven't seen him do in ages. I asked where his sister was. She's on Little Dock. She's riding again. <laughs> oh, it's just so nice. We don't want to be inside. When it's like this, you just don't want to be inside. Yay, spring! Well, it just has set. <laughs> it's still pretty, isn't it? Ha, ha, ha.